Gryffindor. Couldn't possibly have seen that coming. Okay, you're up. Gryffindor. Gryffindor? Gryffindor. 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 All right, I guess I'll see you in the common room. Any chance you know the counter curse of Petrificus Totalis? No, sorry, I'm only a first year. It's gonna be a long seven years. Hello all, I'm Josh, this is Josh Builds Stuff, and I don't know about you, but I feel like something's changed in the Matrix because I'm having a bit of deja vu. That's because we are talking about yet another Harry Potter Hogwarts Moment book. This is the Hogwarts Moment Transfiguration class set that just came out in January 2021, contains 241 pieces, and costs $30 just like all the other books in this series. This book is themed around Gryffindor, at least roughly. It contains three minifigures which are also from Gryffindor. We have Professor McGonagall, we have Ron Weasley, and Hermione Granger. So look, do you want my early recommendation? Sure, this set is worth buying. But would I recommend buying this set plus the other three sets in this same series uh, and building them at the same time and then reviewing them back to back to back? No, they're all very similar and things will start to get pretty repetitive pretty quickly. And the worst part is, well, things will get pretty repetitive pretty quickly. If you haven't seen anything about these sets yet, each one is a different Hogwarts book, roughly themed to a different Hogwarts house and a Hogwarts classroom. Today's, like I said, is Transfiguration, but some of the others are Charms, Herbology, and Potions. But here's the thing about all of these sets being released as a part of one collection. I am a compulsive collector, and when I have one thing from a set, I want the entire set. So when I got one of these sets, I had to buy all of the sets in this same collection. I've been this way basically my entire life. Just take my Pokemon card collection, for example. When I got one Pokemon card, I just had to buy all of the Pokemon cards. Yeah, that's the original 150 right there. I wish I could say that this was the only binder full of Pokemon cards stashed around my office, but sadly, there are many, many more. So I say all that to say that yes, I think this set is worth getting and so are all of the other sets in the same collection, but maybe spread that buying out over a longer period of time and build them over a period of time, and I think your enjoyment will be greater for having done that. Now with all of that being said, let's take a closer look at this Gryffindor slash Transfiguration book right after the build. The build for this set, surprise surprise, it's like building all the other books in this series, but if you haven't already done that, then it's like building a bunch of separate little components and then sticking them to the big plastic printed book covers. In the end, the finished product is pretty nice and I would recommend this build to anyone. Again, as with all of these sets, the best part is that they open up from little themed books into entire classrooms. In this case, we open up and we get the Transfiguration classroom. The top pops off and turns into a little podium and desk for the teacher to stand behind. That's Professor McGonagall. We also have a little table with a couple of chairs that'll pop out. We have a little chest full of accessories that can be used in Transfiguration class, like a little cup, a little mug, and a little frog, which can be turned into a cup or a mug. We also get a little blackboard with some transfiguration instruction and a little bookshelf with some books and some little magical accoutrement sitting upon it. When we compare this classroom to the others that we've already built, honestly, I think this one is the weakest of the bunch. When we did the potions classroom, it was full of well, potions. When we did the herbology classroom, that's full of herbs. But this class, uh, it just, it lacks some of that theming in my opinion. The backdrop here, again, achieved with a whole bunch of stickers, is pretty much just like stained glass or pretty much just windows in the background, and that really doesn't say Transfiguration Classroom to me. Maybe that's true to how the classroom looked in the movies, but really the only thing in this set that means Transfiguration is like a little cup and a little frog and I guess a sticker on the blackboard that shows some Transfiguration stuff, but otherwise this set just looks kind of like a generic classroom. There's also very little Gryffindor theming. There are like two 1x3 banners on the side which have a little gold lion on them, which I'm assuming is supposed to be representative of Gryffindor, but other than that, besides the minifigures, there's not much here that screams Gryffindor. At the risk of sounding too negative, I will give the full disclosure that I spent the entire morning trying to turn this little Lego frog into a little Lego cup, and it has not worked for me all day, and I'm starting to think that maybe I'm just not cut out for this magical life. And so maybe that's what's driving my negative opinion of the theming on this set. Or maybe we've just confirmed that while these sets may be decent to look at and play with, they are not, in fact, magical. For minifigures in this set, we get Hermione, Ron, and Professor McGonagall. I think Hermione and Ron we've both gotten before, but it will always be fun to say Happy Christmas, Ron, so at least we'll have that. 
Professor McGonagall is the real treat in this set, as I believe all parts of her are new, maybe not the head, but at least the hat and the torso and the legs are all brand new, and I think they look pretty nice. Even so, I've been staring at this Professor McGonagall figure for the past six hours, and she still hasn't turned into a cat, so again, I think I can confirm that this minifigure is not actually magical and does not actually share the traits of the fictional character on which she is based. So my final thoughts on this set, I'm not really finding any like easter eggs or hidden gems or callbacks or shoutouts or anything that kind of makes this set stand out or makes it any better than any of the other four sets in this same series and so, I don't know, honestly I'm a little underwhelmed by this one. Then again, maybe I would feel differently if this wasn't the fourth Hogwarts book set that I was reviewing, one right after the other, but even so, I think the theming here, I think the little accessories here are just kind of so-so. But hey, maybe there's something I've missed or some reason that does make this set really great and I would love to hear that in the comments down below. So let me know what you think about this little set and all of the sets in this Harry Potter Hogwarts moment book series. Personally, I'm glad to be done reviewing them, but overall I am also glad that I own them. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, and tell your friends. And check out the other videos on this same series of sets, and you can slowly watch my sanity and enthusiasm wane over time as we review more and more of these same Hogwarts books. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. For your amusement, I will now attempt to transfigure myself into a cat. Did it work? No. What do you mean? Look, I'm a cat. No, you're not. You just cut the camera when you did that weird I Dream of Genie blink, which is totally not Hogwarts reminiscent, and now you're just standing slightly off camera. All right, well, thanks for ruining the fun for everyone else. Some people actually like having fun and enjoy this kind of thing, but, you know, I guess you're not one of them. So, see you later, everybody.